up. Time to build a pod. What's going on? What's up guys? Today is the big day. We are finally putting a lake in our backyard. The best part is we haven't told our parents yet. Let's go wake them up. Everybody wake up. It's time to build a pond. George, what's going on? We're building a pond today. You feel be pissed. <laughs> Why this what this is going too well. You look like you went to the uh, Halloween store. <laughs> Let's you, go, Greg. <laughs> you are a persistent. Hey, Joe's here! <laughs> yeah. well, we got a beautiful day to build an aquascape ecosystem water feature, bud. I am today living the aquascape well, lifestyle. Well, by 4 o'clock or so, <laughs> we'll be seeing today. Yeah, this cool. is fun. I love my job. Yeah. I love my job. So we got uh, another truck coming with uh, three more guys with a bunch of shovels and wow. we're going to... Wow. Well, have fun, guys. <laughs> we definitely will. All right, enjoy the day. Yeah, Thank you too. Right. Appreciate it. Hey, Mom. You want to go through this design a little bit? We'll promise you one thing. <laughs> At the end of the day, you're going to love this, but I think you should leave after we start digging. Yeah. <laughs> Time for a bond. Good morning. <laughs> Can I do belly flops? <laughs> What'd you find there? Well, we're gonna see. Maybe it's a... Looks like a coffin. Actually, it, it really <laughs> does look like a, a little coffin. All right, so basically we have to take out this drainage pipe. That's what gets the rainwater out away from my house. So we have to reroute that. My dad's not home right now. He's not gonna be too happy about that. This is a laser level. What we're trying to do is we're setting our water level approximately four inches below the top of the patio. Water level is going to be two foot four. I want to make uh, about eight inches of water on this shelf. I call it a tool. So what, what are you doing right here? We're digging a hole. Joe and I have been assigned the hole for the skimmer here. I helped dig your pond. Now you got to dig this one. Oh, barely. Oh, barely. <laughs> So you're doing the same thing here as you were doing over there. Exactly. So okay. we're making watertight connections uh, for our plumbing. All right, guys. So what we're doing is we're basically creating these different rings of depth. So the fish will have like some higher points to swim in and then some really deep spots that they can actually swim in during the winter time. All right. So now it's just getting all the little edges out, some of this gravel that's falling in, and then we're going to put the underlayment down. So it's uh, probably like 1130. So we're going to have this pond excavated, the underlayment down, the liner and just beginning to start rocking it in when uh, we break for lunch. Go down to the bottom. I know what you're gonna do. Okay. Hold it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I do parkour. Parkour! So we've got all the ledges dug out. We put the vertical ledges, we put the uh, boulders, which is a Wisconsin granite boulders. And then we fill in the joints with smaller rock and gravel to lock everything together. And we're just building up. You don't want to see one inch of liner when we're done. The flat areas have the gravel, the vertical areas have the boulder, and then the smaller gravel and rocks locking everything into place. Who can win an arm wrestling? Uh, probably me, honestly. It's kind of... It doesn't stand a chance. No. All right, hey, let's do it. Sure. Get set, go. Oh, big brother! Big brother! I'll give him a chance to get back in this. Big brother's got There's him. A pound of mud here. That's why I can't. <laughs> We're using, you know, fish-safe silicone on here, and it's going right over the screw holes, and that's going to be the interface. So when he cuts the liner out, he's going to take the faceplate, going to bolt it on the front, put all the screws in, and then we're going to cut that liner out right in the middle, and that's going to be the opening for the skimmer. Dude, it's coming together. It's looking good. It. We got some wood in here. That's going to give it a lot of character. But how much rock did we get? I mean, uh, we have eight tons of stone. Eight tons of granite cobblestones coming in, and that's just going to give us that really naturalistic appearance. Look at these pieces of rock. Oh, this is 
massive. This is 400 plus pounds. What are these? Uh, these are three watt LED lights. So we're gonna put, I think three of these in here and just glow up and then we might put some one watt spots up there. So at nighttime, this is gonna come alive. I think your favorite time to enjoy this is gonna be at night. Aquascape Inc. basically packages these pre-made different sized ponds. So there are pre-packaged pond kits. They're gonna start at four by six. This is an 11 by 16. This is a great, great pond. This is probably the most popular pond kit out there. If you're interested in getting a kit for yourself, I'll put the link in the description below. They're pretty cool. Honestly, the way the whole pond system works as one unit, it's impressive what they've built. So I'll leave the link in the description below. You should check it out. Check out that 2019 pond powered. What is this, like a 20? 2,500 gallon. Is that a power head? That is a power head. Oh, that thing is massive. So, That's what she said. We're right. gonna circulate this pond four times an hour. The waterfall will push, and then that will push, and everything will go towards the skimmer filter. This is the beginning of the end, when we're starting to wash down the rocks and gravel. This is always my job, highly complicated, skilled. Actually, George, I think your brother might be qualified for this I actually, one. I actually like that job a lot. I'll yeah, it, it's all in the wrist, son. Wrist. Wrist. <laughs> oh, good. Our dad is just gonna love the water, though. This is the biofall, so we got our filter pads, and then the filter pads go on here, and then we put some bags of bio balls on the top. So the water's gonna be coming out of here, going down the waterfall yeah, into the pond. Oh! I ball fight. Flash this like Steph Curry. All right, what we're doing, uh, we're washing the pond down. Now the next step is to start thinking about the waterfall. And what I want to do is I want to take some of these big giant boulders and try to place them inside of here. So the thought process for this is just to have a lot of white water effect. Ed is cutting this piece of wood to make it, what, fit right? To make it fit right in there for a waterfall. We are going to start foaming right now. So this is one of the most important steps there is. What you want to do with this is you want to dispense some of the foam into these joints. This is going to divert the water over the rocks. But what you don't want to do, you don't want to fill it all the way to the top because then you're going to see it. Three thousand gallons. Three thousand gallons an hour. Mm. Big upgrade from 12G. Just like that, no problems. And that's how it goes on. The filter pad goes in there. We open up the rear flap. Pretty slick, huh? And then here's the overflow. So here's how you adjust your water level. Right there, that it starts overflowing. Final step. Putting in the basket. So basically, a skimmer is like having somebody cut your lawn for you and you empty the basket. How often do you have to empty the basket? How much leaves you get? You don't have a lot of trees here, but in the fall, maybe once a week. All right, so the one thing I promised my mom was that she'd be able to pick out all the plants to garden around the pond. So Very important. This is your chance to be creative with this. Go right. for it, have fun. Exciting. My mom's really picky about her gardening, yeah, so. Picky. What do you think? We got all your plants. I hope so, it's gonna be beautiful. One, two, three. So basically, we're just topping the topsoil with mulch. So we got about 10 bags here and we're just gonna cover all this dirt with mulch. All right, so at this point, my dad has still not seen the pond. He has no idea that we've been doing this all day because he left for work before I came into the house and woke everybody up. So we just told him to come home from the office. We're gonna get his reaction when he sees our finished pond. Oh, there he is. <laughs> You ruined my house without my permission. Eh? <laughs> I was gonna give your dad a fist pump, but even that's a little bit. Pick, picky high five. Okay. <laughs> dad, we did a little bit of damage to your backyard. Oh my yes. goodness. So come take a look. It's not too bad. Your they... mom didn't even say a word. <laughs> she didn't know either, actually. Oh boy. That's a huge conspiracy. Oh no. <laughs> George. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can swim here. <laughs> right? It's a swimming pool. What do you what do you think, Dad? This is your new backyard. You came just in time. We finished it, but there's one last thing that we're gonna do. What is this? <laughs> you can be the male, you can be the female. Hey George, that's how we were born. <laughs> hey. 
The pond guy. The pond guy. <laughs> Welcome to living the aquascape lifestyle. All right, Greg. Thank you so much. Hey, hey, hey. Ed, you guys truly are the pond magicians. That was fun to surprise your dad, too. <laughs> and as always, work good working with Joe. I love my job. Alright guys, um, wow. I just want to say a major thank you to Greg the Pond Guy and the entire team over at Aquascape. This day honestly just made my entire summer. I'm gonna leave links to Greg the Pond Guy's channel in the description below. I really recommend you subscribe to his channel and you check out all of his really awesome pond builds. Also, you saw Ed, he's one of the people who in addition to Greg helped engineer all the different products that go into this kit. If you're interested or inspired to build a pond like this, I'm gonna leave links Links to where you can buy those pond kits in the description below. I'm also gonna be at their event called Pondemonium next Thursday. So I believe that's August. I'll put the date right here. But I'm gonna be at Pondemonium participating in a waterfall building contest. You guys wanna show up? I'm gonna be there. It should be pretty fun. There's gonna be other creators. I will see you soon to put fish in this pond. But until then, guys, remember to keep those nitrates low. George out.